Hey guys, today we are going to see the continuation of the story entitled The Return of the God of Destruction. The story will be about a god of destruction that was brought to life, but he didn't belong to any of the current 12 universes, but to one of the six universes which had been destroyed by Zeno thousands of years ago. We will see how this god of destruction will behave now, thousands of years after his death, and what his goal will be now that he has returned. Will he be a new ally for Goku or a new enemy for him? And his friends? Well, just following along to find out. So grab a bucket of popcorn and your soda and come with me. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and comment what you think of the story. Well, without further ado, let's start following this incredible story. In the Sixth Universe Currently in the Sixth Universe, it was possible to see all the gods of destruction along with their respective angels gathered on the planet of the god of destruction of the Sixth Universe. All of them had been called by Vados and nobody knew why, but everyone went to the Sixth Universe at the request of Vados. Vermouth spoke. Why were we all called by Vados? Champa doesn't want to have a competition of who eats more, like that time, right? Because if it is, I'll hit him for wasting my time, said the god of destruction of the 11th universe while looking at the other gods of destruction. Hellas said, These stupid competitions of you men, they're not at all elegant, and if you were to participate in something as ridiculous as that, you shouldn't have invited me. I don't want to spoil my beauty by participating in things like that said the goddess of destruction from the second universe as she looked at the other gods of destruction. Likir said, You say that, Hellas, but when we don't call you to one of our competitions, you get irritated with us, said the god of destruction of the eighth universe, while looking at Hellas who looked at him mortally. Rumshi said, Hey, Beerus, why are you holding that sphere in your hand? This sphere looks like those spears that were given to the champion of the tournament of power asked the god of destruction of the 10th universe while looking at Beerus who was holding a dragon sphere in one of his hands. Beerus said, It's nothing that is of interest to you, Ramshi. This is something from my universe, and it is none of your business, said the god of destruction from the 7th universe with a serious and cold look toward the other gods of destruction. Vado said, Actually, I would say that the reason you're holding that dragon ball was to do with all the gods of destruction, and that's also why I called everyone here today said the angel arriving at the place with a sad look, something that surprised Wiss seeing his sister with that downcast expression. Wiss said, What do you mean, Vados? And why do you look like that? He asked the angel, his sister, who just sighed heavily. Vados spoke, You will see why I'm like this and what I mean by that. Everyone follow me, please, spoke the angel entering the palace of the god of destruction of the sixth universe. Vados kept silent and soon all the gods of destruction and their angels arrived in a room when they entered everyone saw that that was Champa's room but what shocked everyone was the fact that Champa was in her bed very injured. Beerus was the one who was the most shaken. After all, he was Champa's twin brother. Beerus spoke. Who is responsible for leaving my brother like that, Vados? Asked the god of destruction releasing a little of his power because of his anger. Vados said, When he came I couldn't recognize him so well. But now I know who was responsible for nearly killing Mr. Champa. Big Mun, the god of destruction who won the title of the strongest god of destruction at his time. He should have been dead for several years, and seeing him again surprised me, said the angel using her staff to create a hologram of Big Mun, leaving all the angels surprised, because the strongest god of destruction has returned from the world of the dead. Wiz said, but why did Big Mun do this to Champa? He wouldn't come here just to hit Champa and then leave, asked the angel while looking at his sister. Vado said, As I said, the reason Mr. Beerus was holding this dragon sphere, I would say that Big Mun tried to take it too, but was defeated by Beerus to ensure that Big Mun could not take the sphere. Mr. Beerus is holding this dragon ball. Am I right, Mr. Beerus? Asked the angel to the god of destruction of the seventh universe, and thanks to the angel's statement, all the gods of destruction and angels looked at Beerus. Beerus said, Yes, a few hours ago Big Mun was in the seventh universe. He ended up going to planet Earth, and as I was there, I ended up facing him. During our fight, Big Mun ended up dropping this dragon ball, and knowing that he was behind that sphere, I took it and I was holding it. The only way for him to take the sphere now would be defeating me, something that Big Mun would not be able to do, said the god of destruction while looking at Vados. Beerus said, but that doesn't mean that Big Mun would come to the sixth universe to defeat Champa. He did that to get revenge on me. Maybe it doesn't make sense since he doesn't know anything about this era we live in. He doesn't know that Champa is my twin brother. So the god of destruction, not understanding why Big Mun would have attacked his twin brother. Vado said, He didn't attack Mr. Champa because of you, Mr. Beerus. He attacked Champa 
because he tried to stop the angel who accompanied Big Mun from trying to steal the Super Dragon Ball spear that we had gone after. And when Mr. Champa advanced against the angel, Big Mun entered the front and started to fight with Mr. Champa. In fact, I should say that it was a massacre and not a fight, because Mr. Champa did not manage to land a blow on him, spoke the angel, revealing to why Champa had faced Big Mun and been defeated in such a humiliating manner. Beerus said, The Super Dragon Balls? What does Big Mun want with them? And how did he manage to transport them between universes? Said the God of Destruction while looking at his twin brother's angel. Vado said, I don't know why he took the Super Dragon Spheres, but I know that the reason must be the same as when he tried to take the Dragon Sphere that's in your hand. Mr. Beerus, they took the Super Dragon Sphere. The angel that was with Big Mun used some technique or skill to reduce the spear until the spear fit in their hand said the angel that surprised everyone because none of them knew of a technique that could reduce a spear to the size of a planet. Vormoth said, But why is Champa alive? Not complaining, of course. But if Big Mun left Champa in that state, he could have killed him. And he didn't. And what I'm confused about is why Big Mun left Champa alive, said the 11th universe god of destruction while looking at Champa. Champa said, To make you afraid of him and the power he has... The God of Destruction spoke in a slow way because of the pain he was feeling. Vado spoke, Mr. Champa, you should be quiet and recover properly. You're still not in a position to speak or do anything. The angel spoke seriously to her God of Destruction. Wormoth said, I see. He wanted to use Champa as an example to make us afraid of his power. But we have to be realistic. Champa is not as strong as the rest of us. And being overweight, that must have made him weak, said the God of Destruction of the 11th Universe, exposing a great truth to all. Champa said, you're right, Vermont, and that's why I have to ask that you protect the other two Super Dragon Balls that are in the 6th Universe. If the guy takes all seven, he can make some orders, and it'll make us lose everything. And with that, Big Mun will kill us all said the God of Destruction of the Sixth Universe, slowly, for causing of pain in his body. Jin spoke, Then we will have to protect the Super Dragon Balls scattered across the Sixth and Seventh Universes. This will take a lot of work, but we have to do it. If not, all of us Gods of Destruction will be killed by Big Mun, and if you think about it, all the Angels are in danger too. Since at the time Big Mun lived, he became so strong that he was able to hurt his Angel during training said the God of Destruction of the Twelfth Universe, while looking at everyone present. Vermont spoke. Since that's the way it is, each of us will take a kind of rotation to protect the Super Dragon Balls, and each rotation will last for a week. Let me protect the Super Dragon Balls during this week. That way I won't feel so bad for calling Champa weak and mocking him for being overweight, said the God of Destruction of the Eleventh Universe, while looking at the other Gods of Destruction. Likir said, Right, but we have to protect the Super Dragon Balls from the Seventh Universe. And we must do it now, because if Big Mun is after the Super Dragon Balls, I would say that we have to go soon, said the God of Destruction of the Eighth Universe. Quitella said, Since it's like that, I'll protect one of the Super Dragon Spheres that is in the Seventh Universe. Also because Beerus is not capable of doing this alone, said the God of Destruction of the Fourth Universe, while looking at Beerus and laughing at his face. Beerus said, I don't like Quitella, but he's right. We need to defend the Super Dragon Spheres to stop Big Mun's plans. Now let's go because he must already be going after one of the Spheres, said the God of Destruction of the Seventh Universe, looking at all his fellow Gods of Destruction who just nodded in agreement. Then everyone went to their respective universes except for Vermont, who stayed in the Sixth Universe, and Quitella who went to Universe 7 to protect one of the Dragon Balls. With that, we will end today's video. If you want to see the continuation of this incredible story, leave a lot of likes in the video and comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Until another day, guys.